Yes, hello. Oh, they're just hopping right in. This is a classic, right? Well, a, a new age classic, right? Like where Carflow figuring out that, figuring out places where his where Chrom can be a little bit more reliable, and the fact that we fit while having very good edge guarding doesn't have the greatest of ways to force you off stage can make Chrom feel at very least a little bit more a little bit more desirable than Roy, where you're almost always playing Wii Fit's game. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I feel like Carflow goes back and forth with Chrom and Roy. I feel like now nowadays it's, he's doing more so the Chrom, um, like you said. And I feel like it's just because of the ledge play. I guess it's less of a gamble for him at the ledge with Chrom, throwing out forward tilt and jab. Yeah, you lose some of the like explosiveness from getting jab exactly, yeah. but that's where those uh, those commitments can be really really good. You just drift off stage and you find a ba uh, find a back air, and when you do play your ledge trapping game, you start to play it with full reach and not having to worry about sour spots, worrying uh, getting Krom's naturally longer sword, and all these juggle game all of these juggles that don't end with just one or two up airs. You can just chain those forever theoretically. Ah. Yeah. Um, yeah, right now, yeah. Oof. Yeah, Car yeah Carflow's definitely working right now. Throwing a lot of these aerials, trying to keep the pressure on John in the corner. And compared to the last game we just saw, I feel like John is definitely more subdued right now. Yeah, you're not playing the uh, Wii Fit's game. Like, Numbers wants you to come off stage. Numbers wants you to, to try and hit at ledge at weird, at weird instances, trying to edge guard him. Carflow is only doing, he's only acting on his terms. Great air dodge. Oh, oh you, you're dead. Uh, yeah, Wait. yeah, that's, yeah. You went for that. I mean, whether it was the regrab <laughs> or hitting the top of the soaring slash, like that's just that's just curtains. Yeah, and we, you literally just said, yeah, John wants you to go off stage. John wants you to play this game. Literally, you go off for a counter and you die. You exploded. He wants you to do that. This is just how he operates. Are we gonna see? Like, I almost like seeing a little bit more of a, like, um, Krom Dare at ledge, throwing out that forward smash anyway, the benefits of a longer reach. But Krom Dare is almost similar in properties. It's a little bit more lag, but it's similar in properties to Falcon Dare. So sometimes you can just, like, throw that as a, uh, as a means of a two-frame option, and then just back off. So, okay, John, John's really good. So he he threw out, he was, he's been throwing out standard standard get up, up tilt at ledge right. just to counter Carful's jab, and then he just did standard get up Spot dodge, just to throw off his timing. But Carful stealing that stock up, but man, 130, 124%, man. It's not impossible. You just lose a lot of the X factor. Going for the cross, uh, going for the cross up against Wii Fit is so tough as we run that final stock back, right? Because Crom, what makes Crom so devastating, and what makes like Crom and Roy and like all these characters so devastating, is that effectively here, right? Yeah, that's pause. Just, yeah. yeah. This position, minus these frames, this position is normally so good for Krom because it's, it's a fuzzy, it's a mix-up. You're hitting like the very top of the shield, so crossing over or staying under is really, really good. But in Wii Fit, you don't want to pressure shield from here. From That's back air. You you want to pressure shield from here. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, and, and I feel like sometimes like when when, when you're lost in the sauce as rare Krom and you're trying to mix trying to mix up on shield. Something you kind of forget. Oh, yeah. Wii Fit's main option to punish you hard out of shield is her back air out of shield. You do not want to cross her from behind. Yeah, crossing her up or pressuring from behind, no go. You got to stick with these. Uh, stick from above or and stick from a, in front more specifically. And we're seeing Carfo kind of remember that at least a little bit at the start of this game. A lot more up airs, a lot more dashing forward and trying just to keep everything in front of him. Yeah. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Some some of these options by Carful is, is a little spooky, mostly because he's jumping a lot of the John. I know John scouts for those short hops so he could scout with the forward air out of shield. Yeah, trying to come at that diagonal where we fit uh, forward air most reliably and most powerfully hits. Ooh, if he got the tangibility on the up smash, that would have been wild. I hate that it has a tangibility. That's such a weird, like, it's such a weird thing you can time. Oh, numbers mixing up with the roll, though. That was that was interesting. Okay, I, I didn't think the up B would do that, but yeah, you can mess with the startup with that, so it makes sense. You die. But yeah, this uh, you don't you got air dodge. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that and, the, and, and 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 ladies and gentlemen, that is how you stop Ike and Crom up B. You could hit it from the top, or you mess with the startup. There's no hitbox coming up. Yeah, this there's like it's a mile difference between the two. 
making Kronz slightly more exploitable, but both are weak to that exact thing. Yeah. Because, like, Ike throws his sword and then rises while Krom sweeps and then rises with no hitbox. So, you know, it's yeah. it's tough. <laughs> Will Carflow apply pressure to any of these ledge grabs, though? They're just yeah. they're just playing against all oh, the neutral get-up dash tag. Uh, yeah, and John hit him, hit, John's hit him with that a couple times, and Carflow's been trying to get his jab at ledge, and he hasn't got it once, actually, which is... As Krom, you don't expect to not get any jabs, and that's a good Uh-oh. Oh, wow, getting by oh, that. He got back air at C, and I was about to say, yeah, you almost, you probably died from that because of Krom's. Krom's sword hits at the ledge from that angle, and it's ridiculous. The, it's one of those benefits that, like, Krom has over Roy and just many, many, when it comes to many, like, spacing instances, but because you are so much more fragile than Roy, the risk-reward almost never feels like it gains any sort of momentum because you have more reward in terms of some of these spacing instances but you also have way more risk mm. but you also have that i respect it i respect it as john um he did the same thing twice he he, he baited with the salute the sun in the air try to read the next option but yeah chrome up the gg's i think the forwarder after that you take that ball every day of the week yeah good 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 pressure of getting a pop at carful though trying to extend that lead as much as he can and like and all and all these trades and all the full damage adds up but it's so easy for numbers just to, like, like you're calling out an air dodge or you're just waiting. I oh, respect it. Let's go. That was so good. That was hype. Like, I, I I don't think he meant to go off stage, but, like, just he lined it up so well didn't matter. And good on Carflow, right? Like, that was how you started out game one before John was able to wrestle control of the pacing of the match and <laughs> slowly, like, whittle away at Carflow's confidence. A play like this is a statement that's like, no, you're not going to shut me down or slow my roll. I'm still playing what I feel like is the best way to play against you. Mm. And it's worked in the past. It's worked multiple times in the past. Just not like foolproof. Yeah, and, and, and it goes to show you um, the perseverance of Carflow, mostly because he lost a stock almost exactly the same way, but except for uh, the down air as a counter, right? right? When he went off to go for the counter. Got punished for it immediately, lost the stock. And he was just like, you know what? I don't care. Like you said, it's worked for me in the past. I'm going to go for that read. I'm going to trust my read. And it worked out, worked out for him. Yeah, it's an excellent point you bring up, Bars, as well. Because, like, I remember that counter was at the basically the same spacing and the same general timing. But because Carful had gone for counter, it allowed John's delay to get a huge punish. Yeah. We're, we're getting away from those platforms, though, and we're getting right into final destination for game three. Uh, Precarious, couple inter interactions, but okay. I yeah, kind of yeah. wanted it to take. You. <laughs> I was like, did he get it? Did he get the thing? Oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I I dislike Crom killing with up me more than I like we fit doing any spike. <laughs> that, like, if that's possible to believe that. Oh, it's so gimmicky. It, it tilts me more than anything. It's like, man, I'm so good. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, man, I'm so good. Well, I didn't like, think. What? You died. Oh no, it's with the sun. No had, it, yeah. had it available that whole time, didn't maybe overcomplicating the edge guard just a little bit there, having right. to deal with Carflow. Maybe and maybe it was just the timing of Carflow, right? Like maybe right. like you know recovering, he didn't do the same pattern, and John was just like maybe hitched a little bit. That American air dodge getting hard punished, and once more, Krom's only recovery option from that deep mm -hmm. getting stuffed out. Day one ultimate edge guarding. When you see that air dodge, it's time to go. It's time to party. Yeah, and it's yeah like, once again that down air, once again, man. I'm telling you, man, that, that downer, it's not exactly Falcon's Dare, but it's really close. <laughs> uh, Exclamation point Falcon in chat if you really want an answer for that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, ooh, that, that, can we talk about that forwarder with him? That, that like, <laughs> bounced it off his shield. Post, but no cigar. Couple fair, so just playing the spacing game here. Yeah, and I, I'm loving the patience from Carful, man. He's just standing there waiting for John to press a button. Not overextending. Oh, you were cooking trying to find that up air dare combo. A little bit too high for it, though. Man. Punish? Up for up air? Oh, okay. Is that confirmed? Okay. Yeah, I'm just loving the pace from Carful at the ledge, though. Not overextending, but like the one overextension. <laughs> you the one overextension. Deep you lost your damage. stock. Deep breathing damage. Uh, it's so much. And then the. The weight into forward tilt at the at the aggression timing. John, like getting called out for 
like not just the option you pick, but the time at which you do it, is really, really hard to uh, to uh, to keep whelmed under. Man, Carful was patient that whole stock, overextended once and lost the stock. Yeah, like that has to be demoralizing. But I feel like Carful right now, his mentality is in the right place. Like he's still keeping it up, not overextending, not getting not getting sped up. But man, deep breathing sun citation does like 30 right now. Keeping, keeping Carfo from forcing any sort of interaction. John fighting for every inch of space and just making so many good call-outs in the corner, as John tends to do. Like, he plays out of the corner so well. Third back air finally doing it from center stage. Lots of game here, though, for Carfo. I mean, 105 isn't ideal, but you, if you stall out this deep breathing... Yeah, he needs... Carfo needs to watch his, 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 his nair, his cross-up nair at the ledge right now. Um, because I feel like he's going for that a couple times now, and I feel like John is kind of just trying to bait him into that. We haven't, we've yet to see a backer out of shield specifically in a great long while. Props to Carfo and props to Numbers for being very withholding of that option. It's a grab, but instead he finds the up air. Trying oh, to cook. Oh, he's, he's going for that mix. Yeah, Air good, good, good coverage. Yo, oh, does he swinging? Yo, he's swinging. He's swinging, bro. You see, that's the that's the Roy him. He's swinging. Uh, Just enough time to get deep breathing out. I, I, I completely agree. I do really like the aggressive approach to edge guarding. It's the difference between a disjoint and an item property. You're just able to swap that away, mm -hmm. bite your way back to ledge. Yeah. But because John stalled his air, his fall with a deep breathing in mid air like that, it removed the juggle. Crom had Crom had used his edge guard. Carflow had to reset, and numbers came down with all the reward in the world. Yeah, man. Yeah, and I, I was actually just about to comment the Carflow, like how he how he recovered there with his forwarder, right? Not one to use his resources. I feel like both stocks he had, he lost his resources. That's fucking that's, that's that's <laughs> flick, <laughs> flickering your shield into explode by forward tilt. No parry here. That yeah, like right here, you're not. He's like, I'm not using my resources. You're not making me use my resources, right? And then get out of my face. Into uh, into I'm mashing down here. Like that double jump right there, like trying to challenge but because john was not committing to the like many common ultimate options so yeah. it's like hey i'm gonna i'm on fd and i'm above you i'm gonna fast fall neutral air dodge this usually <sighs> works john didn't commit to that let his slow fall be the benefactor as just as much as it can be a detriment and then pivoting over to a fast fall once the deep breathing is online